Welcome back as we take a live look at a hazy Detroit River on this blistering hot day. Excessive heat advisories have been issued for several metro Detroit communities. Counties, outdoor temperatures go up, so does the chance for heat related illnesses. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is back now to talk about the extreme heat and how it affects people's health. Dr. Nandy, what can we do about it? Yeah, absolutely, Glenn. Yeah. So now I'm out of the car and, and reporting actually in the studio. When it comes to natural disasters, studies show that extreme heat is a killer. So why should people be concerned, right? Well, fun in the sun can lead to more than just a bad sunburn. People can suffer from heat rash, which is a skin irritation that can sting. Heat cramps, those are spasms in your muscle that can actually be quite painful. Also, heat exhaustion can happen. That's when your body actually overheats and it can't properly cool itself. If left untreated, it can lead to the most dangerous heat illness, and that's heat stroke. Now, that happens when your body temperatures rises above 106 degrees Fahrenheit. It's life-threatening, and people can die from it for sure. Now, people suffering from heat exhaustion can have symptoms like dizziness, confusion, and nausea. They can also pass out. High temperatures can also make breathing difficult for some folks, and it can put a strain on the heart itself. So who's the most vulnerable, Doc, and how can we protect ourselves and our loved ones? So, Glenda, anyone who works outside is susceptible to heat illnesses, but our most vulnerable t tend to be our kids, our older generation, and people with chronic diseases. Also, studies have shown that extreme heat can cause problems for pregnant women. It can lead to early labor and increase the chances of stillbirth or having a baby with low birth weight. So what can you do to protect yourself and your loved ones? Really important to understand this. When it's hot and humid out, drink lots of water. Staying hydrated is, is key. Take breaks cool off in an air-conditioned place or seek shade in a cool area. Please wear lightweight clothing that allows air to flow. Wear a hat and sunscreen. If you have young children or elderly adults living with you, make sure you check on them often. They can't regulate their body temperature as well. And lastly, if you notice anyone suffering from heat-related symptoms, get them out of the sun, give them water, and seek emergency help immediately. It could save their life. It's a really serious situation when it gets as hot as it is out there right now. Yeah, because, Doc, even if you have a high tolerance for heat, you still have to take precautions. 100%. And you've got to take this seriously. People say, oh, it's no big deal. Yeah. But it is, and it can kill you. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor. My pleasure.